Hey guys, so I got something for you and it is an hidden boat entrance. But yeah, now I made one of these about 4 months ago and actually the design I'm showing right now is the design I made before. But this design was made before slime blocks were introduced. So yeah, as you can see, this design is a little big. <laughs> but yeah, now if you haven't seen what it does yet is when you press this button, it's going to open a 2x2 space over here. And if you have a boat on top of one of these blocks, we can you can just slide slide it a little bit and you can go inside of your base. But yeah, now you can notice that this design isn't as isn't a normal 2x2 first trapdoor because you actually have to prevent the water from coming inside of the of the hole. Otherwise it's going to flood your base and you also have to kill the water sources that are inside of this 2x2 space. Otherwise it's going to flood your base again. But yeah, now this design works just fine. As you can see. The only two flaws about it is that it's a little big. Actually it's very big. And also it's it's locational, so it doesn't work at every location. But if you haven't it but we but now with slime blocks we can just throw some over here and it's going to make the design a lot smaller. As you can see. <laughs> so yeah, now this is the new design I made. It's very compact, as you can see, and it works just the just like before. Now it's a little bit faster because we can make the double extender with slime box much simpler now. But yeah, and it's the same way as before because we need to have this these pistons preventing the water from coming inside and also kill the water sources water sources when they are over here. As you can see. But yeah, now there's this design is very compact, but this layer over here was annoying me because I knew this could be compacted because I knew this layer wasn't very necessary. So me and Spriggan we got together and we made another design. So if we just throw some more slime blocks over here, we can make it a little bit more compact. And as you can see, we we, we managed to take off the the layer that was over here so yeah this is the new design now this design is it has one flaw that is not very in sync as you can see uh, i don't like the the opening animation so much because the pistons don't don't go at the same don't go at the same time so yeah i'm going to in the tutorial that I'm going to show, that I'm going to make in a bit, and I'm going to show how to make the first design. But yeah, now this design works just fine, as you can see. And yeah, so be sure to check out Spriggan, Spriggan's channel, because he's a very good redstone there as well. But yeah, now let's just go with the tutorial. So for the tutorial, I'm gonna start out where you want the, the boat to be, the, the entrance to be. I'm gonna put four blocks over here and break this tree and put three three stick pistons like that. Now over here gonna put two stick pistons and four slime blocks just like that. And that is going to extend these pistons and uh, grab these blocks over here. So now I'm gonna put a non-movable block over here, two upside down slimes and now repeater on two ticks. Over here, gonna put a um, non-movable block and um, a lever, a uh, button, or something like that, just to make this redstone face this direction. And yeah, now this should be working. This extension. Now to make the rest of the extension, gonna put some blocks over here and a non-movable block here. Two repeaters, redstone dust. Two repeater, a uh, repeat on two ticks. And over here, gonna put. You can see, actually you can see that it's working just fine. So yeah, but now we have to also make these, these kill the water sources that are, in, that are in the hole that is going to open, otherwise it's going to flood the base. So we have to give a pulse. So we're gonna do that using a hopper dropper mono stable over here. You just have to put any item inside of it. And... Over here, gonna put repeaters on four and three ticks. Went to a redstone torch, a repeat, a redstone dust, sorry, and a repeater over here. 
on Fortix and a Redstone Torch. Now we don't want this to be sorry, we don't want this to be open yet, so we're gonna put a lever over here and flick it. So yeah, this is this isn't going to annoy us for about for a bit. But yeah, now for the rest of the design, I'm gonna put some blocks, redstone torches over here and here. And you can put also the stick pieces if you want to. So yeah, they are going to prevent the water from coming inside of the hole. Now to power them, I'm gonna put an upside down slab over here and a redstone dust. Um, and redstone dust. Redstone dust over here as well. A repeater. I'm going to uh, a redstone torch tower. Another repeater. Some redstone dust over here. Going to another redstone torch and slab, and have to cut it off. And over here, I'm gonna put a no movable block and another repeater. So now over here, I'm gonna put a um, no movable block, and over here, it needs to be a hopper because it needs to be a no movable block and also transparent, so it doesn't interfere with the system. But yeah, I think that's basically it. You um, just have to flick it, and you can also put your floor if you want to. And of, of course the water as well. And as you can see, now it, it's working just fine. But yeah, that's basically it. Now, in the, late, in the last video that I made about it, people were asking me how I could make so... How I could give an input to, to this without having to shoot a ball, a button with a ball or something like that. And now that this design is very compact, we can just have... What? <laughs> we can just have a um, stone key um, that I, I made a video about some time ago. And I'm going to link that in the description, as well as Spriggan's channel, so be sure to check it out. But yeah, you can use a stone key in the floor, and when you break one stone block, it's going to open it. So yeah, now you can also use your imagination, and yeah. <laughs> but yeah, now that's basically it, so thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.